For some folks, cooking is more of a spectator sport. Celebrities like Rachel Ray, Guy Fieri, and Bobby Flay are hotter than the food they cook and have inspired thousands of people to pursue their passion in the culinary world. Here to talk about food jobs and food writing, as well as uh, sharing a delicious recipe, are two of our favorite local foodies, Stephen Fries and Adrian Kane. Welcome to the show, both of you. Thank you. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about you two, how you got into the food business. Adrian, we'll start with you. We know mm -hmm. you uh, have several cookbooks. You also have the pie cookbook. Yes, I have two. Uh, Two cookbooks and a food memoir with recipes included. I love that. And you're also yeah. teaching. And I'm teaching two courses at Gateway this year. Um, one is a baking course, an artisan bread course, and then there is a food writing course. So let me ask you, is this something you wanted to do your whole life? You always wanted to have a cookbook under your belt? Um, I always had an interest in food and mm -hmm. cooking, um, and then I majored in English, and so food writing seemed to be the perfect combination of the two. Very good. And Stephen, I know you're a little bit of your background. You uh, managed a, a hotel at one point, right? I was right? in hotel business, yes, and uh, left the hotel business to teach. I've been at the college 28 years as coordinated the program, but food was always part of my life. I've worked in kitchens, I've worked in prep and what have you, and uh, followed the management aspect of it, but always involved with food, and uh, decided to write a food column that I enjoyed reading. Actually, I enjoyed reading a column. My parents uh, live in South Florida, and their mm -hmm. food section was great. And I said, let me uh, see if the New Haven Register will be interested in a uh, food column similar. And by the way, last week, a mm -hmm. column published on food careers, food jobs, and food writing as well. Oh, you can find it online in case yeah, we missed it, right? absolutely. So let me ask you, what would you say to uh, students who are just starting off at college that do want to get into this career? Pat Passion. So you would recommend? They have to have passion. Okay. Because mm -hmm. yeah. it's probably not easy. A lot it's of competition. Not. No, it's very competitive, but I think that passion, obviously, and then two, just really writing a lot and mm -hmm. using the, the writing muscle. And where do blogs come in? Because that's so popular now. I mean, blogs are a great way and a great avenue for people to pursue their dreams. Mm -hmm. um, and there's, there's more freedom. Um, sure. That makes sense. Less deadlines. There you go. You can write what you want. You're you your own boss. You Not bad. Mm -hmm. Stephen, what would you say to a, a, a student? What types of classes should you begin with if you do want to get into this class? Uh, basic food, which is teaching you the basics of cooking, uh, literally boiling water. Mm -hmm. uh, terminology, which is important as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then again, communication is so important as well. The uh, the art of writing has been lost over the last uh, many years with technology, so I think that uh, learning how to write mm -hmm. and express yourself, both verbal and written, is key uh, as well. Very good. Well, we are going to cook a little bit today. You're yes. going to give us a lesson. A healthy kale salad is on the menu. Yeah, and I'm going to take care of the vinaigrette, and um, Adrian's going to take care of the salad part, and maybe you'll pitch in as well. Yeah, I can always help. I'm very useful in the So kitchen. I started out with some uh, minced shallots, and I'm going to add in uh, some red wine vinegar. The recipe's uh, on... On our website, you know. WTNH.com. Just click on Style. And I'm going to add a little salt and pepper, some honey, some whole grain Dijon mustard, and olive oil. And I'm going to whisk all that together. And uh, yesterday I prepared the um, whole grain here with the... For the, for the salad, the wheat, berries. the wheat berries. What is a wheat berry? I guess I don't really have that. It number. is the entire wheat kernel except the hull. Okay. And it's added to salads, it's added to breads, and it's used as a side dish uh, in some French dishes as well. And in Eastern Europe, uh, they actually make a uh, Christmas porridge uh, out of it. Oh, in, wheat berry, all right, very yeah. good. It's that's chewy, neat. it's nutty, that's really delicious. Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead and chop up the blanched sugar snap peas? Okay. Just in half. I can handle that. Bite-sized pieces. So we've added the wheat berry to the kale, and then we're going to add some fresh blueberries as well. Okay. And then we have some feta cheese, some salty kind of brininess. Adrian, do you have anything in the works? Um, I have a bread cookbook. Um, oh, wonderful! Coming out in October. I would love to be a bread expert. <laughs> oh well, buy the book. Um, I will. Hang out with me. <laughs> um, and take the artisan bread course that is at Gateway, be right? At Gateway, exactly. It's That's interesting. Great. The people that register for the food writing course, mm -hmm. they're from all walks of life. People that want to write cookbooks. People that want to write a food blog. Mm -hmm. uh, people that want to write a food memoir. And it's all age ranges as well. Right? Well, yeah. magazines too, right? There's Absolutely. so many food magazines Absolutely. to try and get into. 
And as far as food jobs, um, the book Food Jobs by Irena Chalmers is amazing. Uh, she actually teaches a course in food jobs at the Culinary Institute of America. And she'll talk to students, for example, if somebody likes bike riding, she'll say, would you ever think about taking your culinary skills and writing for cycling magazine or someone that likes playing music? Uh, become a rock band, mm -hmm. uh, traveling chef with a rock band or something mm -hmm. like that. Or run culinary tours like I do there uh, you go, in New right? Haven. There you go, The walking tours? Yeah, the walking tours. Next one's on September 20th. Maybe one day you'll join me. I'd love to. They sound so fun. All right, so you're putting these... Um, now we're just going to add the sugar snap peas in with the salad. Pretty easy, right? And then Very I'm easy. Assuming the vinaigrette would go right on top Absolutely. or serve it on the side, whatever you like. Vinaigrette, we're going to add a little bit and toss it in there. And then uh, we'll add to your liking afterwards. So we'll toss that around. All right, looks Go great. Ahead. Well, we're going to try this at the end of the show. Adrian, Stephen, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having thanks us. Thanks for having us.